Hey Paula, it's Julie Billharts out in Oregon and um, yesterday my daughter and I were talking and talking about all the fun things that we had done in the last eight weeks and uh, we thought we were done doing recipes and we got looking on the internet and a couple things came to mind and so we just can't quit. So we're going to share a couple more recipes with you. This is a, a berry um, dumpling tart and they are so good. So we're gonna start off with two cups of self-rising flour, and it's really important that it is a self-rising flour. Then we're gonna have, add two cups of sugar. Mix that up a little bit. We're gonna add two cups of heavy whipping cream. There's no calories in these. I was sure to take it out of all the ingredients before we started. All right, then we have a cup of butter, which I know it sounds like a lot, but it just makes a wonderful edge on the side. Make it nice and brown and delicious. Mm, it's very, very good. Just kind of stir it up a little bit. We have had so much fun. And Paula, I would love to be a representative from the West Coast. So keep that in mind. We love you out here in Oregon. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then most important, our Philadelphia cream cheese. We have four ounces of cream. Philadelphia cream cheese, and I just zapped it in the microwave to make it easier to, to stir in. Get this a, a good whip here. All right, and then over here, I have a large muffin tin, and I like to spray the bottom first because it makes these little wax paper circles stick nice. And I like to put these in just to make sure that everything comes out nice. After you've done all that work, you want them to look beautiful. So, so make sure you um, just trace around the bottom of the, of the muffin tin, get the right size piece of wax paper. You can use parchment paper, either one. And then I spray, spray the sides and the wax paper. Good, okay. that up good. I'm going to get I like an ice cream scoop. Oh and I forgot the vanilla. Let's put in the vanilla too. All right I think we got everything now. Okay. So I'm gonna take my scoop Fill up my tins about two thirds of the way. These are so good. And like you said, the edges get this, because of all the butter, they get this nice kind of brown, crispy nest to them. They are so delicious. And then out here in Oregon, we have wonderful, wonderful berries. We have blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries and in the summer they're all done at the same time which is nice because then you can throw them in the freezer together and so in the winter time you can make a mixed berry pie or to have for muffins like this okay so then I just took some of my frozen berries and let them thaw you can leave them frozen whatever is good just dump it right in the middle and then when they're done cooking, it's important to dump them right away on a cooling rack because you want the inside to sink in. Normally we don't want that, but that's what we want here. And then the berries show through on the bottom and it is, it's really, really pretty. So put them in a 375 oven. Oh, and depending on how much you get in your pan, probably about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. 
All right, I'm gonna throw these in the oven and we will be right back. All right, girls, so our, our um, little berry turnovers or muffins or dumplings, whatever you wanna call them, are just delicious. And um, we added three little scoops of ice cream and some mint leaves, and I want you to just see how beautiful that is. My camera girl is not here, so I'm hoping I'm in the right spot. But these are so delicious, and you can use any kind of berry or be beautiful with peaches also. So, like I said, the edges are so good. You can get a little bit of the berry on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on out, Paul, this summer, and we will pick berries. See you later.